Hi, welcome. And this video, I want to talk about sanctuary and the different ways that we can find sanctuary, cultivate sanctuary, and explore the ideas of sanctuary. Um, in addition to the video, I'm also going to be creating a PDF or maybe a comment. Um, I haven't quite figured that out yet, or maybe just a, a graphic, but to, for you to explore the idea of sanctuary. And this morning, I found myself <laughs> making notes during my meditation time. As that happens, I find that I really need to grab the moment. And the idea of sanctuary, I found that, that we could split it up into different ways. So I'm going to talk about what sanctuary means to me because <laughs> um, that's probably the best way to go is, is speaking from my own perspective um, because that's what I have. And first, I'd like to talk about the elements of sanctuary. So when I think of sanctuary, um, I first, of course, go to the external um, because it feels like a place that I would go to, into externally. So elements of sanctuary for me um, are the material things. I have a wonderful space inside my home. Um, it's a corner in a room and I have a chair that I sit in. I have a basket where I keep my books. I have a book light. I have a lap desk to hold my, my books that I read and the light to help me see. I have a blanket. So even if it's not uh, cold, I like to feel this blanket because it's soft and it feels luxurious. I have a footrest if I feel like resting my foot. I have a salt lamp to create a beautiful glow. I, I work with them. Um, I love fairy lights and I put those on. Um, I have a candle, I have some Palo Santo and it's in a corner and I can look out and it's, it's in my studio, my home studio. So I'm able to sit there and see the creativity, the possibility of creativity. There's something beautiful about paints and paint brushes um, that bring me comfort in books and cards and things that I love. And I also have pictures of my daughters, my family are all around. Um, those are the elements of my home sanctuary. Here in this space, you can see, um, and I'll share with you, this is my work sanctuary. This is where I paint and complete coaching or spiritual direction. I take meetings here, I do classes and I create. Uh, this is my space in the River Arts District. And I would also consider this a sanctuary. And again, the items that bring me comfort. So attributes of sanctuary would be a place that makes you feel secure, uh, safe, uh, cared for, a place where you can retreat, a place where you feel refuge ideas of places of sanctuary could be your favorite park, a tree, a place in your house, your room, your car can be a sanctuary for some of us when we're driving home after work or even at a lunch break we just can't wait to get to that space. Uh, we can listen to the birds in the car, we can listen to beautiful music, we can read or we can just breathe. Um, another sanctuary for me, and this is a place I go often, is Mr. K's used bookstore. And, and I love books. I love the library. I go there as well. Just to be surrounded by all of that beautiful possibility. And I just realized recently that the idea of potential is what brings me joy. Um, and being surrounded. I love the art store as well. So Cheap Joe's is, a, is another place that I love to go. Uh, it's a little harder for me to go there because I'm tempted to buy something. Um, but I would consider that a space of sanctuary. And then the Arboretum, the North Carolina Arboretum is absolutely a place of sanctuary. There's nothing better for me than going on one of the hikes there and then coming back and having a beautiful cup of tea or coffee at the bistro when it's open. Um, 
So those are the attributes and the feelings I have or peace, joy, uh, it just wells up inside of me. There's also people that feel like sanctuary to me and these are the people in my life that I know love me unconditionally. And one of those people is my husband, Sean, who we've been together 27 years and been through a lot. But I know when I see his beautiful face at the end of the day or at any time, I need to call it up inside that, that he loves me. Um, he is my partner in life. And he feels like sanctuary to me. And my daughters feel like sanctuary to me. Um, my family is a place of refuge. My home is a place of refuge. And I'm so blessed to be able to, to feel that. Um, so people, places, elements, attributes. And the last thing I want to talk about in ways to think about sanctuary would be practices that can help create a sanctuary. Um, and these would be the practices uh, that are more the internal building of a sanctuary. So I'm going to show you in a video my favorite things that go into my sanctuary, but I'm also going to be teaching you some practices. But I invite you to think of practices that you can cultivate to build your own sanctuary, such as meditation, um, breathing, prayer, uh, soul collage is a beautiful practice, walking through a park, playing with your pet, um, playing, <laughs> period, uh, just allowing yourself to play and connecting with that divine inner child and, and skip and run and dance. And one of the things that I like to do really a lot and I would invite you to do this too, is turn up some of your favorite uplifting music and dance in the kitchen. I do this actually quite often and actually even here uh, before I paint. So I hope that this has helped you uh, to think about other ways to cultivate sanctuary and what sanctuary can mean. And I'd love to hear from you about how you cultivate sanctuary in your life and what sanctuary means to you. See you next time.